Aloha and mabuhay everyone. This is again your Kuya, Kuya Joe, and welcome to another video. There are people who kept asking me how I did my thumbnails to look like these, where the subject or the person is cropped out and looks kind of like glowing. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it without Photoshop. For this kind of effect, cropping up the subject with Photoshop is easy. However, Photoshop is not free and I don't really feel the need to get Photoshop. So to achieve this effect, I use a software called GIMP. GIMP is a free software for PC or Mac. I am going to put a link in the description below where you can download it for free. So if you want to learn how to achieve that cropped out subject for thumbnails, stick around because I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process and I am also going to post a cheat sheet that you can screenshot from this video so that you will have something to follow along while making your own thumbnail. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is open up GIMP and this is what the software interface looks like. To start, we need to click File, New, and then in this box, we want to make sure we indicate the dimensions to be at 1280 by 720 because that is the required dimension for YouTube thumbnails. Next, we go to Advanced Options and we want to fill in our template with Transparency. Once that is set, click OK. The next step we need to do is find the image we want to use. Right click on it and open it with GIMP. Now you want to make sure the dimensions of this image is 1280 by 720 so click on image and then scale image, change the dimensions to 1280 by 720 and then click scale. Now the image is in the right dimensions. Next we need to copy this image and paste it on the template we made which is this one right here and to do that click on edit, copy, go to the thumbnail template click on edit, paste as, new layer. Now what we need to do is duplicate this layer and to do that we simply go to the bottom right hand side and click this icon right here that says create a duplicate. After doing that, turn off the visibility of the original layer by clicking off this eye icon right here. Now we can start cropping out the subject. To do that, first we have to click on tools and then paths and now we can start cropping. We can zoom in using our touchpad or by simply pressing the control button on our keyboard and using the scroll feature from the mouse. This part requires a lot of patience. Just keep on cropping around the subject. I'm just going to fast forward this step so I don't waste any of your precious time. Once we're almost done, we press Ctrl on the keyboard and click on the starting point to lock it in, just like that. Now that we're finished cropping, press Enter on the keyboard and you will notice the cropped path is looking active. Next thing we do is click on Select, click on Invert, and then press Delete on the keyboard. Now our subject is cropped out and the background is filled with transparency. Click on select and then none. Now turn on the visibility of the original layer by clicking that eye icon back again. There you go. We then click on the top layer and make that layer alpha to selection by right clicking on it and then clicking alpha to selection. The next thing we do is to make that white outline that we see in this example right here. We can always use different colors and I'll show you how we can do that in a short while. What we're going to do is we click on select, grow, and in this pop-up box, we indicate how much growth we want. Let's do 8 and then click OK. And as you can see, the active path has now grown or expanded. You can do a higher number if you like this part thicker and you can do a smaller number if you want this part thinner. Before we fill that in with color, we must create a new layer first by clicking on this icon right here that says create a new layer. Make sure the dimensions are 1280 by 720 and it is filled with transparency. Click OK. Now drag that new layer to second in line, just like that. Click on edit, 
and then fill with background colors and now we can see that white outline if you want to change the color just click on one of these two colors right here make sure you click on the right one the one that says active background color and you can select any colors you want now when you select a different color it's not going to apply that color immediately what you need to do is to click on edit again and then fill with background color there as you can see the color has changed already but for this project let's give it a white now for that glowy or blurry effect like this one right here in our example what we need to do is click on select grow and for this one we like it a little bit thicker so let's do a higher number um let's do 11 and then click ok now we have to create another layer again. Make sure the dimensions are right and it is filled with transparency. Click OK and then drag that new layer to the third position just like this. And then click on Edit. Fill with foreground color. We can also change the color but let's skip in this color for now. Click on Select, None, Filter, Blur, Choose Gaussian Blur. In this pop-up box, using this part right here, we can adjust the blur. Once we find the amount of blur we like, click on OK. And now, we're done with that. From here, we can export this photo by clicking on File, Export As, Name It, and put it where you want it, or we can continue editing it. You can add text and clip arts from this software, but what I usually do is I just export it like this and then set it to my iPad or phone and edit it with a thumbnail maker app because I like the fonts and clip arts I get from that app. As I've mentioned, I'm going to give you a cheat sheet in this video that you can use to follow along while doing this effect on your next project. And so here it is. You can pause this video and take a screenshot. If you have any questions, I am more than willing to answer any of it in the comment section below. I hope you like this video and learned something helpful for your next project. If you do, please don't forget to click that like button because that is appreciated a lot. Feel free to check out my other videos and if you like what you see, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. This is again your Kuya Joe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.